start again. Good evening. Hi, Kelly Mallinson here. I am doing my fourth day of my 30 days of tips. And tonight I want to talk to you about exercise. So sometimes when people hear exercise, they're like, oh my gosh, no, I'm not doing any exercise. No, no, you can't make me. I hate it. I'm never moving my body ever. Or some people are like, yes, I love it. I feel alive. And this is what happens when I go outside and I exercise and I go to the gym and I lift weights and I do all these things. And it invigorates you. But some people, they're just like, no, thanks. No, thanks. But you know what? Moving your body is good for it. It keeps it going. It makes it so as you get older, it's not so creaky and rickety and old. And like stretching our muscles is really good for our bones and it, all kinds of things. So I just want to share my um, journey with you a little bit. So when I was a kid, I wasn't overly coordinated and I wasn't very good at sports and I really wanted to be, but I wasn't. And, you know, always last one picked really not very fun. And um, so what happened was, is that I um, kind of gave up. So I was like, oh, like I know, like when we were in like grade eight and grade nine, me and my friends, we used to like go to the Como Lake Rec Center and we would, um, is that what it was called? Or Poirier? And we would go do like the aerobics classes on the side of the pool. Like, so we, we did different things and, um, or we would go and walk, but you know, lo and behold, you get a little bit older, you're graduated, you're, but your body stays in relatively normal shape and then you decide to start eating. So I started eating and I really ate a lot. I delivered parts for my job at the time and I did a lot of eating and I gained a lot of weight. I gained mm, about 80 pounds. So I was sitting at 220 pounds, I'm five foot four. Well, actually I think I'm five foot three but You're like 5'2". I'm not 5'2". Okay. Then. Okay. So anyways, I'm not 5'2". I'm at least 5'3". I used to be 5'4", but I don't know what's happening. So anyways, so um, I was big at the time and it wasn't good. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And I, and, it, and I sat there for like a year going, I have no energy. I'm tired. I'm lethargic. I'm not motivated. None of the above. I'm none of these things. And, um, and I didn't want to go. And then one day I was like, you know what? I can't live like this. This is not good. I didn't feel good. I felt very unattractive. I felt ugh, my face was broken out. I was 21 years old. And I'm like, something's got to change here. So I decided I was going to go to the gym. So I went to the gym and I went on the, the Stairmaster for like 15 minutes. I committed that I was going to do that two days a week 15 minutes on the Stairmaster and I did I went and then I went some more and then I tried a step class and this is like in the 90s so I did a step class I did an aerobics class I did the treadmill I started lifting weights and you know before I knew it I was like ooh, now I'm changing what I'm eating so uh it took me about three or four years but I lost all the weight and then I've been um I've enjoyed exercising ever since actually I challenged myself and I actually like appreciated the challenge I did things like the gross grind I rollerbladed the sea well I fell and crashed a lot on that though but that's a whole other story May long weekend I had huge road rash on my thigh it was not very fun um but it was still fun to go and do that so I rollerbladed I I, I used to work out with this personal trainer who we would run up and down Thermal, which is um, a big hill in Coquitlam if you're from British Columbia. Um, it's at Rick Hansen during the Man in Motion tour. He rolled his wheelchair up that hill, actually. So that's pretty cool. But um, I did, I've done a lot of different kinds of exercising. So when COVID started, I had been going to oxygen yoga like three to five days a week. And um, I don't do yoga when I go there. I do like hot boot camp, like um, total body conditioning, um, hot power core, um, all, all kinds of really hard, crazy classes and um, in a really hot room. And so when COVID happened, we, I, decided, I started walking. <clears throat> I tried to do some classes from home, but doing those classes on your, not with heat on your floor, not in runners, wasn't really helping me. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. So I started to walk and walking was really good. I was trying to do like, I, I wasn't really counting my steps, but I was just walking. I was like, you know, I do a 35 minute walk a day 
And um, I've been really um, focused on that. So then I got this Fitbit, which I probably is not overly good, but I have my my Shungite bracelet with it. So hopefully I'm not getting too many EFTs off of that. And I'm sure someone will have a suggestion for that. But um, so I've been getting, I've been working on getting 10,000 steps a day. So now I'm doing 15,000 steps a day. So I have a recumbent bike in my house and I'm walking. It's really cold though. Once I get cold, I stay cold for a while. So, but I've been wait, walking at like seven o'clock in the morning. So it's been good. I strongly encourage you, no matter what this pandemic is doing to us, is to keep moving, get outside, go for a walk. Um, if you have stairs in your house, do the stairs, walk up and down the stairs, do whatever makes you feel good and whatever you like. And if you hate it at first, eventually you'll start liking it. What? Go on bike rides because they're fun. You can go on bike rides because they're fun. That's what Sam says. Go on bike rides because they're fun. Go for a walk in the forest. Go drive downtown if you live in Vancouver and go walk around the seawall. Put on your gloves and your mitts. No, your gloves and your toque and um, and bundle up if you're going to go do that. But, you know, just keep moving. It's it's and start start. If you haven't started, then I suggest you start. You know what? Since I gained all that weight, I have been on this lifelong mission to try to be as healthy as possible. I also smoked at the time, all kinds of things. So if you can just do one thing to improve your health every day, I really recommend you try it. Um, there's so many benefits um, to your heart health and even like your mental clarity when you, um, when you walk and when you move. Um, they say that if you're feeling anxious, then you should go for a walk. It's gonna help you out with that. So, you know, I know that I'm a wellness advocate for doTERRA, but I don't just sit here and and plot and scheme my oil plans. I I do I do a lot of other things, and I really encourage a total life conditioning instead of just one thing at a time, but you have to start somewhere. So I challenge you to start with one thing tomorrow that's going to help you improve your health. So bye-bye till tomorrow and, and all my jabberings. Okay, have a good night. And follow me on Instagram, um, Kelly underscore Mallinson, or um, I have a page on Facebook, Essential Oil, no, EO Magical Mixology. And yeah, and let me know if I can help you. If you're looking for a personal consultation on essential oils, let me know. I'll hook you up. Okay, have a great day. Bye.